Hi, Nana here. Good morning. And uh, in this session, uh, what happens is that one of my students reported that when he is uh, performing a complex, uh, uh, when he is performing a transfer order for a complex controls, the system is allocating the lot and serial numbers automatically. He couldn't do it. Then I provided him a way. And uh, yesterday I got uh, what happens one more uh, uh, request also from another student. So I thought that I will not better make a demo and then I will not show it to you how it works actually. So let's go there and then have a look at it now. So here, uh, I will now first of all uh, uh, create an item. I will now go to the product management and then go to the product information management. Let me get a new item which is having SLR controls. Click on it, click on create item. So it's a D01. <clears throat> I'm now putting a mouse flower, putting the root item class, and then applying. <clears throat> so now I will not make an item. Okay, fine. I will now make a new item now. <clears throat> I will now say test underscore complex. <clears throat> test complex T is the one. Fine. Transfer order. I take copy it and then put on the space. So test complex T is one. And when I go to the specifications, and then I will now enable the SLR. <clears throat> you go to the inventory. So first, the revision, I'm going to enable it as yes now. And then go there, lot control as a full control. And then the bottom, what happens, I will now go to the serial numbers, I will now make it as what? Dynamic entry. So the serial lot and revision, SLR, have been enabled for this item. Go there. And then I will now go to the associations, and then let me associate to both my orgs. Fine, I'm going to transfer it from my, uh, the first org to second org, actually, with a self net. <clears throat> so D01. Entering, let me choose both the arcs. And then click on apply and then click on demo. So that you know, see this is not fine. So test complex controls is transfer order is not ready. So let us now go there and then save and close. Item is now created. Let us now keep a stock on the first stock because I have set up the uh, shipping parameters and then all the shipping activities on the first stock fully. You know, and then click on it now. Let us now go there. I will now, <coughs> I will now go to the home icon. And then I go to the supply chain execution, then go to the inventory management. And then from that, let me receive the item on the second, on the first order. From that, which I'm going to do it now, click on it, and then go to the create miscellaneous transaction. And then my org is D011. And then give a tap, and then give a key. On the first org, I'm going to receive it. And then drop it down. I will now make a miscellaneous result. <clears throat> so I'm putting the account over here now. Go down. So remember, once when you perform on the inventory valuation setup on the managed mapping set, then only you can perform a miscellaneous transaction, otherwise it will not be accepting it. I click on plus now. And then I'm going to add test. And then give it a tab. <clears throat> the test compass people can go there. So once when an item is revision controlled, we cannot make any entry on the line level itself. Fine. Go to the view details. Fine. Here only you can enter. Click on the view details. And then here, let me choose the revision now. I know the revision is zero. And then afterwards, you choose the sub inventory. I'm going to drop it down. And then have the habit of receiving everything on the MGS and not on the stage. When once when it comes out of production or once when you buy and then sell, right? In all the cases, you have to have the MGS. Staging has to be either physical or logical staging. Fine. So don't receive directly in the staging. That is the best practice. MGS. Then afterwards, what happens if you go and then give a quantity of let's say 100 and then give it a and then after you give a lot, the quantity will vanish. So the order of entry is what? First revision, then sub inventory, then lot, then the quantity, then the serial number. So that way you do it. I will now put a lot, I will, I will now say July underscore 19. July 19 is a lot. Though. Then July month, I reserve it. And if you give a tap, the quantity will vanish now. Then again put the quantity. <laughs> the quantity one put again. So then the serial number will be enabled. The serial number will be enabled for entry. And I will now say 1001 is a serial number. The serial number uniqueness check failed actually. Fine. So uh, uniqueness, uh, it is already used by some other thing. Fine. I will now go for it. Let's say uh, 501. <clears throat> so the two serial number will be coming final one to six hundred now. That's what is. <clears throat> so I'm now having this uh, July 19 lot with the final and six final one to six hundred. So click on it, click on OK, and then click on submit. So upon submitting it, now what happens? It will be <clears throat> the transaction complete message has come. Then only when the message comes, what happens? Your transaction is passed. If this message doesn't come, that means what? You made some mess up, and then again make a check of each and every thing. And click on OK. And then let us now receive one more uh, thing. And then go to the create business transaction now. The system date gets populated over here now. Copy it out. And then it is now received later now. Click on it. And then I will again put the account now. 
can I come here? I can do that. Okay. And then click on plus one. And then I will now put again the same item. And then this time, what happens? I'll be having a different lot altogether. It is the August lot. I'm going to make it. I will now drop down and then choose the revision now. And then choose the FGS sub inventory. <coughs> and then afterwards, I will now put the lot over again. I will now say August lot. But it is now received afterwards. The point first was July lot, next is August lot. And go there. <coughs> and then I will not put a hundred two hundred over here. I will click on it. And then final one to six hundred has been given. And I will now say six not one to seven hundred. And give it another lot. So five not one to six hundred is the July lot, and then six not one to seven hundred is the August lot. Everything has been provided. And we click on OK and then submit it. So we are now completing the transactions. Click on submit. It gets submitted. <coughs> So you can now see the message coming up, fine, whether click on OK. And now what happens, I'm going to request a transfer order from the <coughs> source org. My source org is uh, 0, 1, 2, no, fine, go there, click on it, and then I'll go to the manage item quantities. And then here, what happens, I'm going to make a request for the source org. So change org to my source org. My source org is a D012, no, D012. Rather, I'm sorry, it's a destination org. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. No, it's a destination org. Because on D011, I have set up all the shipping parameters. I'm going to ship from D011 into this org. Find destination org. I'm going to make a change. I'm not changing it to destination org. I'm going to click on it again, go to the manage item quantities, and then you can now see the destination org is coming up. Now, here, I'm now going to request for more, more order. Now, find good actions. And then here, what about the request transfer orders? So, this is for what? This is for uh, creating a transfer order for moment of material between two inventory orgs without any approval. If it is going to be with approval, it has to be with the IRTO. With approval means IRTO. So with approval, we had to go via it. I have already posted the video on IRTO. Fine. Have a look at it. It's a very big process. Fine. So so many setups are required. So watch that. So go to the request transfer order of actions request transfer without approval. Fine. It will now go there. Click on plus. I will now put the item over here now. I'm just going to tab now. The request quantity, I will not request for three quantities. Then I will say, when you want it, I want it tomorrow. And then click on OK. And then I will not provide the supply details for this. Click on it. I will not provide the supply details for it. Click on it. And then the destination sub inventory is what? It is a D01. I will not put it on the FGS actually. <coughs> FGS is one. And then uh, source organization, D01. I will not bring it from D011. My child or one, I am going to bring it from another. I will not leave the source of inventory because what happens? The, uh, the picking rule, the power of allocation is a real uh, advantage when compared to the IOT. IOT do not have any allocation, fine. so you only have to manually pick up. Whereas the transfer orders have got the uh, power of allocation. So once when you have the power of allocation, so you will be able to uh, do the allocation uh, very properly actually. So that's what I'm going to leave it. So that is the real reason that many companies will go for a transfer order when compared to the IOT. Over and above, we can even attach the documents of your what happens your tax session, like excise duty, and other things on the road, whatever you're going to make a payment now. So those things also can be <coughs> set up through financial orchestration, and then uh, we can even attach those documents over here now when you're shipping it. Whereas that is not possible in IOT. So there are some advantages for IOT to transfer orders now. So that is why many companies prefer transfer orders on this. I'm not going to move three quantities now and click on submit. So the more you submit it, what happens? It takes some time to create the transfer order. So uh, a confirmation message is coming, supply request was created, and this is a supply request for a transfer order actually. The supply request reference number is also given on that. Wait for some time, and then what happens if you're doing it now? <coughs> so in the meantime, you can now see uh, the transfer order prerequisites actually. Oh, I'm sorry. So open up the transfer order prerequisite now. Losing it now. So this is the uh, prerequisites for transfer order, which I have already explained in my training now. If item must be assigned to both the source and destination order. This is already done. Now. The second step is no more required. It was required previously in release nine and ten. Afterwards, what happened? They have bypassed it. Costing is no more required for a transfer order. Actually, the sub inventories must have a location now. And then the carriers and transit ends is a very important one. And then you should have designed, defined one of the. Uh, what happens? The shipping method is a default shipping method, and then the interop parameters must be set uh, with the distance also fine. Uh, previously, we had a problem with the distance and the, the unit submitted is not mentioned. It was failing actually. I don't know whether they have fixed up the bug or not, but.
but it is preferable to give a distance when you are performing the interlock parameters. So the receiving parameters must be set for the destination or otherwise whatever you want to receive it. So the transfer order will fail actually. And then the data access for inventory manager and then the warehouse manager and then the receiving agent as well as the shipping manager also is required and also on the data because we have to ship it also for both, for both the box to get it. Always give this information. So this data is an important one. So as far as inventory is concerned, only these four data access manager. And inventory manager, warehouse manager, receiving agent, and receiving manager are the ones. So you give it now. Remember, purchasing do not need don't, don't need any data access at all. Then the release sequence rule, then the pick slip grouping rule, and then the ship confirmation rule, release rule, and then the shipping parameters. So we already seen about how to set up all these things now. So I have already taught you. Now we are only into a complex controls basically. So I'm not uh, going through that part now. I will click on it. So I'm not close it now. <coughs> uh, and then afterwards, uh, we'll now go there and then have a look at it. Now. So, uh, we'll now uh, go and then query this one. <coughs> so, it's already done. Now. So, we'll now query the transfer order. So, click on done now. Fine. By this time, what happens? It's been done now. Fine. Click on it. And then I will now go to the manage transfer orders. Now. Click on the manage transfer orders. We'll go there. So, the destination organization is a D012 for which one of them I'm going to query. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. So, we'll have uh, the last line is for the three quantities and there is our transfer order. So I click on the transfer order number 126056 is the one and I'm going to make open tab on the series. So the transfer order is now there. <coughs> you go there and see this. So now what I do is I will now right click and then open up 126056. It will go there and then duplicate. Duplicating it. And then I will now click on the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management. <coughs> and then I will now go there, go to the shipments now. Go to the shipments, <coughs> go there, and then do the manage shipment domains. So the number is what? 126056 now. And click on it, I will not worry this. 126056056. And then I will now make it open. And the, so the shipment organization is, zero, I know I am working on 012, it gets defaulted. I will now make a change to 011. I will click on search. I will make a search. Let me change the organization also. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to change it to what? D011. And I click on OK. The organization is now getting changed now. And again, go there. And I click on what's called manage shipment lines. And then go in. We'll come over here. 126056. And I click on search. <coughs> so it's not coming. Uh, maybe because of this schedule, we should do it because it has to be shipped tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to click on it. I'll now put a date before. And then I will now put a date. You should have removed this column actually. I will put some data over here and then make a search. You know, it will come back. 126056. Now, people, what they do is they go to actions and then go to launch pick release. This pick release, what happens if you go to actions and then go to launch pick release for the decon is now in a ready to release state as not. Well. Click on it, actions, and then go to launch pick release. So, once when you launch it, what happens if you go there? I will now tell you some more thing on this. Now, I'll right click on it and go to the duplicate now. <coughs> If you go to the manage inventory or I'll click on it and then go to the setup and then have a look at the manage inventory or task. Mm -hmm. So manage again the percentage or percentage now. Mm -hmm. So if you go and then look at this task enter it. So this task, if you go there, go to the manage inventory or and then let me query now. <coughs> It's a D011. Give it and then click on search. So many things will be set up like this. <clears throat> it's not coming. So organization name D01 and then we search. You're not showing you from there. So select it and then click on edit. And the first part I'm going to select. From there, I'm going to ship it. So we are going there. And then click on the next. In the general region, what you can do is you can go there and then uh, you can allow the negative balances, allow negative amount balances, and then round reorder quantities for the min max to meet the PIX recommendation of what ceiling rounding actually. If it is not there, it will be a, if it is not there, it will be a, what's called your nearest rounding. Right? You already seen on the min max, okay? Right? This is for the ceiling rounding. Go there. And then you can even replenishment movement request. <coughs> Whenever you replenishment movement is <coughs> you can have the destinations of the inventory, right? That, that can be grouped over there. And then go to the lot of zero numbers, and then here, what happens if you see, the system allocate the serial number is yes. So by which what happens? Because of which the serial number also will be getting allocated. And it will be normally selected as a yes. No. 
adana uh, you go the go to the ne next one in the item sourcing details what happens you are using the absolute last number that is what whichever has come latest that will be allocated automatically so we first received the july lot then afterwards the august lot so since there is an absolute last in first out what happens the august will be allocated automatically but you can even uh, configure for a first in first out also. i mean you can even create your own picking rule and do it now and so and then afterwards automatically populate the pick quantities during pick confirm fine so that is what is and then uh, capture picking exceptions so these two things also is preferable to enable it now fine so they're all enabled so the power of transfer order is what using the picking rule for allocate material allocation and there is the biggest headache for the inventory man inventory man if you don't if you use iot he will not be able to have this power actually right and he has to physically uh, go on and search 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 and then see allocate the material right? choose the material basically so that is getting avoided in a team in the transfer order and you cancel the fine all that so we'll now go there and then have a look at fine go there save and close no fine so this save and close and then come out of it and then have a look at it <coughs> it gets staged you know staged if you go further and then see this no fine go further we'll have a look at it no fine the august lot is allocated the august lot is allocated and i don't want the august to go it is as per the picking rule but i want what i want a, 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 what's called a, i want to have a july lot to be allocated so once when you launch the pick release you don't have any control at all the system automatically allocates everything you click on the from serial numbers and you have one account now showing multiple now so three serial numbers are there and you have one account and you can now see what happens is 634 635 636 or something it is now done in a random fashion because somebody has done some setup in the vision instance otherwise what happens it will become very smoothly actually so 634 635 and then 699 have been allocated actually you know 634 635 699 is allocated thank you for okay <coughs> multiple serial numbers are allocated so in such cases what happens i will now change the quantity right or i will now go there is a multiple no fine so let me change it no fine i will now say i don't want to ship anything fine go there and then i will now back order everything <coughs> go there so correct i will now make a save no fine correct so i am going to back order everything <coughs> click on it i am saving it actually so three numbers are coming and go there so it's now a multiple actually <coughs> the serial numbers is not visible here now fine go there and then let us now click on the shipment number and then let us now try to back order it click on the shipment number <coughs> then here what happens you go down and then uh, here if you go and then see <coughs> the serial number is not coming uh, what i will do is i will now make the ship quantity is 3 and then back order is 0 now then you will now see the serial numbers coming up and you will click on so the from serial number i will now split the line into two because what happens the serial number has to be registered over there now So I will now go to the actions, and then I will now split the line. Actually, the splitting is possible or not? It is not possible actually. I will now say record serial number. Sorry, so I will now select it and then click on the record serial number. Six thirty four, six thirty five, and then six ninety nine is there. So I will now, what I am saying, enter the serial numbers. So select serial numbers. Six thirty four. I will now select the serial numbers which has been already what happens are picked actually. I will click on it. Okay. Fine. That has to have the serial numbers. Okay. You know, fine. Click on it. so the serial numbers if it is not coming it will not get back ordered actually you know what click on okay now now you can see <coughs> click on it and then go down and then go further now it has to show us multiple if it is not showing multiple what happens it will be difficult for us to back order now and go there so it is not showing fine go there so let us now do the back ordering also so go there click on it and then i will now give a save also <coughs> and then go to the actions and then go to back order all and click on actions and then click on the back order all So now the processing is now complete. Fine, everything has got back ordered. The back ordering, I'm testing it only for what happens there to show you how to do it now. Fine, orders. In reality, won't do it like this now. So you will not do what happens. I'm not save and close now. <clears throat> and then you can now see it's back ordered. Fine, all the three are back ordered. Now what happens? I am I, what? Why I back ordered is what I want to choose the lot and serial number. Now. So if you have to choose the lot and serial number, you should not do what you should not do actions pick values. Fine, that is what it is. So you should not do it. So instead, what you have to do is you go there, give a save and close now, and you have to go via this now. Fine, go to this place, and then you go to the what's called pick now, and then create a pick way. Fine. This way, you will have a control of allocating the numbers. Fine. Click on the create pick way. Click on create pick way. <coughs> We are not going to create a pick way. Fine. Go there. So the ship from organization is the thing. Order is what transfer order, and then it is a one two uh, something. Okay. Like that. Fine. Go tap. It comes as what we go to the manage transport orders. One two six zero five six is the one. So we have to put that one two six zero five six now. One two six zero five and then we have to tap now. So it has to be shown. So one two six. 
uh, uh, here what happens i have forgotten to do this point is an unreleased it is not an unreleased status it is a back ordered now fine with that so i can even say all fine so it is already back ordered that is why it is not coming fine go to the or fine with that so if you put 126 and then give a tap what happens it will be populating the number now fine choose the number so you have to choose it as what all no fine unreleased status is all no fine that's all everything is coming and remember not to put any shipping method during picking fine it has to come only in the shipping area fine with that is not requirement with that on it and then click on the show more now <coughs> and we'll go for show more and then here everything is coming and then what happens i will now remove the filtering criteria which i have told you fine the filtering zone and then the what happens the prioritization zone and sequencing zone everything has been explained to you fully in the previous training fine with that i'm now removing the two schedule group as well as what are the two request date also i'm removing it now fine with that so the remaining nothing has to be populated fine the filtering area must be very neat and clean now <clears throat> then you go to the options and then have a look at it now fine so it picks up from the shipping parameters the staging sub inventory and go there and then the rsr and psg are the release sequence rule as well as the pixel rule doing all automatic populate do not enable this if you enable it again it will not automatically allocate the box do not automatically confirm pixel rule enable but you can create a shipment that's okay right? but don't do it because you want to manually allocate the what happens the lot and serial numbers so don't do it now and click on it so this much of a criteria is sufficient now and go click on release now so once when you release now what happens you can now see one pick wave is now created so the pick wave is coming from there So you got the three commands. I'm going to click on OK now. <clears throat> no doubt. So you're not having one pick number. Now we go there and then give a confirmation. I click on the pick confirm picks now. Confirm pick slips. <clears throat> so here, what happens if you make a search? Uh, it will be coming as well. No need to go. The date is there. Let us know. You know the date. And I click on search now. <clears throat> Again, something is required. I already taken a copy of the pick wave actually. The pick wave number. Let me paste it over. And then go there and then click. So they should have a blank search instead of asking uh, the double double star. Search now, <clears throat> give it no coming. Fine, go there. So open it up. Fine, go there. There is a transfer order. Fine, click on open. So it has now created a pick wave, but it is not yet confirmed actually. Fine, select it for confirmation now. And then here is the key quantity. Fine. Now uh, it is now putting some uh, source sub inventory as a staging sub inventory. Fine. Uh, it's out. It's out. It's out. MGS has to come. I don't know why it's coming. Maybe it's not fine. The lot is coming automatically as August twenty based upon the absolute lost in first lot. It has already recommended and go there make a change now. Go there make a change to FGS now. So I'm not changing to FGS. And then here choose the lot. I don't want August. I want to send you later. Now you have the manual control. This is how what happens. You can go there and then click on the serial numbers. One serial numbers. I don't know put what happens. It comes on. So why not one now? Why not one is the serial number? So that is for the July lot. Fine. I'm choosing those things now. Fine. Go there click on it and then I'm going to confirm it. So this way. You can have the lot and serial numbers allocated for your transfer order. So this was the biggest question. So they were always clicking on the pick release, and then what happens? They don't have the control, and then the system allocates everything automatically. So if you want to have a manual control, create a pick wave, and then confirm the picks manually. So by which whatever you want, you can very well control. Fine. This is the uh, way you are doing now. Fine. Click on it, and then click on confirm and close now. By which what happens? It gets confirmed. The pick release as well as the pick confirmation process are getting completed successfully. Now, fine. Click on done now. And then I don't know. Go on and query it. It will be in a staging situation. Okay, then. And then here, what happens? You go there. <coughs> you go to the what's it called? You go to the shipments and then query your shipment now. Manage shipment lines. Now you can see it will be staged. One two six zero five six is the one. Find what happened. And then click on search. <coughs> Defining that it will be in a staged situation. Oh God! Again, please. Ah, it's really very horrible. Click on something and then click on search now. <coughs> So it's now showing you fine on this place now. <coughs> you can now see uh, that it is the lines it is now staged. So previously through auto route of what happens you go to the actions and then go to pick release it's now getting staged. Now through the pick wave and then pick confirmation it got staged. But if you want to have a manual thing go via pick wave. Fine. If you want to have automatic what happens you go for action pick release. <coughs> you know that. So let us now go on then. What happens? You click on the shipment number. Fine. Shipment number is also automatically allocated. Let us now ship confirm it. Fine. Click on the shipment number. <clears throat> shipment number will now show you this information. Now, fine. Go there. So it's no stage. Let us now perform a pick, uh, ship confirmation. Fine. Ship to point is three, and then back order is zero. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Now. And then here I will now perform a ship confirmation. Fine. Click on the ship confirmation now. And go to perform it. So there is no the thing is now confirmed. Now you can see that the send shipment advice will be running now. Fine. Go there. This place. What happens? It will be getting the send shipment at base. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will now go to the recent icons and then have a look at the thing. Fine. Go to the monitor process now. <clears throat> the monitor process is here now. Fine. Go there. Recent icons. I go there. Can I show it? Fine. The send shipment at base will be running. Once when it completes, what happens? It will be updating on the 
uh, this thing to do the manage transfer orders to do the self making on the view receipt of shipments what happens it has been shipped and then the expected receipt date is coming yes. the shipment is closed you know showing everything you know ship it has to be received now you have to receive it now so 126046 the 126056 is the one and we will now receive it in the destination now. and we click on right click on that we go to the duplicate <coughs> And then we are going to receive it in the destination organization. Go there, go to the supply chain management and then go to the inventory management. <coughs> so click on it. <coughs> and then here, I don't know, go to what inventory. Or go to the reserves now. And then you go to the receive expected shipments on the destination or right? Change the organization to the destination or yeah. So it's a D012 is a one and you have and then click on OK. Changing it now. And then here you go there, click on the receive expected shipments now. And then in the receive expected shipments, put the transfer order number 126. And then if you give a tab, automatically it will not populate the remaining fields. Now I have to choose the 0567. And then we will make a search now. And click on search. And then select it and then receive it now. If I click on receive. We are going to receive it. We are receiving it. Go there. And then I will put the quantity as 3. Now. And then destination cannot be given because what happens is the receipt routing is standard. In the interop transfer parameters, what happens? We are given the receipt routing as standard. No? Right. So what happens? It will be done in two stages. No? Right. Many companies refer, prefer only two stage receipt, not, not a single stage receipt. Right. Click on create receipt. Right. Who has performed it? All the things you can give it. No? Right. Click on create receipt. <clears throat> so and then you can even give the packing slip number. The uh, and then you can now say how many units are there, how many pack slips are there, and then the baby number. So whenever you're taking a report, it will be very useful for you right. when you take a customized report. You can even have all this things, information being uh, whatever they're taken in the report. Now, click on submit now by which what happened. The receipt action is not complete. The gate on the destination, the receipt is not completed. <clears throat> and click on OK now. Well <clears throat> now click on done. Now fine. you go there, it will be getting updated on that transfer order page. You go to the space and then uh, it will be received. Right? Click on done now. And then here again, what happens? You go there and then select what happens? Uh, view shipments and receipts. What happens when I say is no receipt, it's not a delivered actually. No, go on the delivery now. No delivery. <clears throat> uh, I have forgotten to note down the uh, what's called it, the the GR number actually. I need to now go there and then deliver it in some way. I will now go to the roofs and then I will now go to the put away receipts. So the GR number is the normal way by which we put it. Since I have not note down, I will not put the transfer order number over the six and go back. So one two six zero five six zero. So uh, many companies do not allow you to query on the, uh, different fields. Only on the GR number, you have to refer every all the transactions to the Click on search. And then you select the line and then click on the put away. And then here is the orders. And go there. So click on submit. You must see and then click on submit. <clears throat> so click on submit. So the put away transaction, you must enter the lot and serial number to whatever has come. Fine. So the lot and serial numbers has to be uh, allocated. Then only what happens will be allowing you to do this now. Fine. So click on OK and then you go to the, you select the line and then click on actions and then what happens the record lot and numbers. Actions and record lot and serial numbers. So here you will now go there. So uh, it is now you are plus now fine. Click on plus now. <coughs> so drop down the lot and then choose the lot now. And click on search. <coughs> and then they make an empty search now. So July, the, the incoming uh, detail has come to the July lot and uh, click on OK now and select it. And then the point is, and then the serial numbers has to be done fine. The record serial numbers, will do that. or otherwise, what happens? The select serial numbers, will click on select serial numbers, and then all the three will select it. So sometimes, what happens? You may not deliver all the three because one of them is uh, what happens? Uh, uh, damaged or something like that in the receiving section. So you will not put the transaction quantity as also two, and then select only whatever is good actually. The remaining one, what happens? You will not perform and reverse transfer order. Remember, we cannot return it back. Fine. So we cannot return it back because it's our own material. Return is not possible. So we can only make a reverse a TO and then whatever we do it. So whatever is there, okay, thank you. Okay, now. now we have recorded all the lot and serial numbers for this transaction. Thank you. Okay, now. This will be having a meaning only when you're uh, transfer, only when you're delivering a lesser quantity. Anyhow, what happens? It is asking you everything. You should have selected automatically. I don't know why it's not selecting it. So if you're receiving it, what happens? We have to give this number of packet on subject by which whatever the delivery transaction is not getting completed. The put away is now getting completed. The put away was created. Now, if you go to the managed transfer orders, you can know, see if it, the delivered also will become if you done now. <clears throat> and then go there and then click on the view shipments and results. You can also see it's also delivered. Now we'll have a stop at this point. We'll have a look at the stop and click on done now. <clears throat> so give a cancel and then you know, go out of it. Then click. 
Now it shows you the sub inventory fine again expand it. It will show you the lot also. So go there. Click on it. <coughs> click on the serial numbers now. So click on it. It will show all the three serial numbers which have been locked there. The view item availability I'll be covering in order management actually. You'll be having what available to reserve and transfer. Everything is now available for transaction. So this will be discussed during order management actually. How much is available for reservation and transaction? So this will be discussed during order management training. So this completes a transfer order for a complex controls. Right, where if you want to do it manually, you have to go via pickway, and then if you want to do it automatically, uh, uh, what you have to do is you have to go via <coughs> automatic is what actions pick release, and then for manual you have to go via uh, picks and then create a pickway and then confirm it manual. So by which it will get completed. I hope that is clear on that. So whenever you have a requirement, depending on the requirements, what happens you wait, and then remember uh, uh, what happens is that uh, your uh, organization parameter settings will fine. You have to say select serial number of yes, then only what happens it will be selected. Otherwise, even if you do action speak release, if select serial number is no, it will be again be released to warehouse only, and then the pick wave is created, and then it is done. What happens is during pick confirmation process, we are allocated. Fine. So you, it all depends upon how you want it. Fine. Many companies, when they want to perform a what was an inspection before dispatch, they will now say select serial numbers as no. So before dispatching it, the inventory in charge will now physically verify everything. And then whatever is good, that numbers only he will allocate. That is called inspection before dispatch. So if a company is following it, we have to make sell, 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 automatically select serial numbers no. So even action speak release will be basically only be interfacing it to inventory and not what happens. The peak confirmation process will not be completed. So the pick release has got two things. One is what the pick wave move order will be created, and then afterwards the pick confirmation, and then you can make both the things automatic or otherwise what happens the pick confirmation manual, depending upon the choice, whatever you make. So go there and then have a look at it. Fine. Bye for now, and then we'll now meet on another record on any other issues. <laughs>